Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. My name is Josh Lilquis, and in the last segment, we were talking about stacking the odds in your favor in the financial markets and, and being the house. Al was talking about how the house always win, especially in the casino industry. But their odds are stacked in their favor, not by a lot. I believe the stat is, what, 52 to 48 in the casino business. So if you have just a little bit of odd, you put some consistency in a strategy, that's where your choices start to change. And we're going to continue that discussion here on this next segment here. But we had a lot of people texting in for this investing class that we do here locally. Congratulations to those of you that did that. If you missed it, text the word investing right now to the number 210-210. And that's for two seats for an investing class to learn those techniques and how to stack the odds in your favor, whether you're short-term trading or long-term investing. Text the word investing to the number 210-210. When you do that, you're going to get a text right back. It'll say, welcome to investing and trading live with a link. Make sure to click the link and that will bring you to our page, which will actually allow you to schedule your own date. We do these classes during the week. We also have these on the weekend. So pretty much anybody can attend. Matter of fact, I was teaching one uh, the other evening. had a great class in there. We had a great discussion on the markets and uh, getting people down that right path and started to make better choices or better investing decisions in the markets. So you were alluding to earlier, and we kind of t- t- kind of ended the last segment about how to build wealth. And, mm-hmm. and how you do that, it's extra income. And if you think about it this way, Al, a lot of people have – one job, that one J-O-B, which if you think about it, the real definition of jo- job is just over broke. Because if you look at over the last few, few years, even now, you're seeing a lot of layoffs. Companies are laying mm-hmm. people off. And what's happening is people don't have a backup plan. So they're broke. If you have one job and that's your only income stream, if you lose that, it usually takes less than a month and people have nothing to live off of. So even if you're doing really well, I, I mean, I'm sure we've talked to people that are doing very, very well financially. But once that, once the uh, the hand starts stops feeding that uh, that that savings account, that uh, that checking account, it, it there's nothing left. So how you build wealth is actually having multiple mm-hmm. strategies, not just one job. Maybe uh, the the futures market is an option. Maybe the stock market is another one. Maybe the options or the forex might be another opportunity to be able to have that second, third, or fourth income strategy. So that being said, you've helped a lot of people get started in some of these different assets that I just was just alluding to and that may be new to most people because everybody knows the stock market. So it, it, just explain real high level on what, some of the, what are some of the key steps that you've helped people with in having the opportunity for another income strategy but getting into these other assets that they're brand new to, because a lot of people are get sometimes afraid to do something they've never done before. How do you help people have that comfort to do that? Well, you know, Josh, most people just follow. <clears throat> excuse me, just follow advice that their parents gave them, which was go to school, get good grades, get a job, put a little bit of money in the bank every uh, every week or every month. I like how you said that, get a job. And that's that's Mm -hmm. where I'm going with this, is that that's what most people do. They have one job. And as you mentioned, uh, you could get laid off. You could get hurt. You could get fired. Your company could go under. Any number of things could happen that could eliminate that job. And if that's what is paying all your bills and, and allowing you to stay alive, that takes, uh, I mean, that can have a huge impact on the way you live. Most people that are successful, if you look at all of the, the people that are maybe multimillionaires, billionaires, they've got multiple sources of income. Everybody who is really financially secure typically has three to five sources of income. And you mentioned in the first segment, you used the word choices, uh, one of the C's that we talk about. And th- You do have choices, Mm -hmm. and the choices that are available to you, you might not know about because nobody has taught you them, but there are a number of things you can do without having to get multiple jobs. That's not the goal you want to have. The goal, the ideal goal should be to, you know, get the, the greatest benefit, the greatest enjoyment out of the time you have, but generate some additional income without using up all that time. Additional jobs, if you get an additional job, you know, that's hours that you're putting into being away from your family, being away from your friends or doing things that you want to do. There are assets that are available that we uh, enlighten our students on 
that you can take advantage of not only to provide additional income, but to do it in a way where it takes a, a less amount of money to get started and the potential returns are much greater than what you might be experiencing now in what Wall Street has put you into if you have any kind of an investment portfolio. It's becoming even more important now to have that additional source of income. The the stats are showing us that about 68% of the people in this country live paycheck to paycheck, even people that are in the six-figure income. Mm-hmm. Why? What's, why is that so impactful now? Uh, it's because inflation, you know, the cost of living has gone up significantly. Since 2018, whatever your salary was, you have taken about a 20% hit just because of inflation. If you have your money in cash, basically the same thing. You, you know, a lot of people think that they, they have safety in, in cash. Well, inflation is eating away at that, too. You know, we've gone from around 9% and that's come back down, so people are starting to feel good. But typically, the, the salary increases that you have have not kept up with inflation. So that, that's an issue. Uh, what, we've, what we're finding also is that the opportunities out there are more short-term now than they used to be. Most people are put into a buy-and-hold strategy where you're, you're told to invest in something and then just hold on to it for a number of years. Well, a lot of the companies that you might have put into that portfolio – might no longer really be relevant. You know, mm-hmm. if you look at the changes that have happened over the years, how do people how do people get their meals? Well, sometimes they still go to grocery stores and make meals, but there's they can have it delivered. DoorDash, mm-hmm. for example. Um, how do people date? Well, years ago, you had to go out somewhere, maybe to a bar or just somewhere in public to meet someone. Now you just do it online. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do people shop? A lot of people don't go to stores anymore. They just order things online through Amazon, for example. So things have changed a lot. And with the, the, the rapid pace of change, it's going to be much harder to do that buy and hold strategy and have it work. So being short term, being able to identify where these opportunities are, take advantage of them before they stop being opportunities that is, is going to require being more short term even mm-hmm. jeff jeff bezos you know founded amazon 4 years ago he said amazon will fail our job is to keep it going as long as we can so even mm-hmm. he knows there will be changes and that makes again buy and hold much harder to do so the assets that we're talking about for income are more short term in nature and we're talking about the options market the futures market the foreign exchange market uh, assets that you probably have not been exposed to, but that's what we do. It, it's like anything else you do. If you haven't been educated on it, you don't really know what uh, you know the details are, you're going to have some fear. You're going to have some trepidation there. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. We overcome that by teaching you what these assets are and which ones might be more appropriate for you to help you reach your goals. Yeah, as you were kind of explaining that, I was thinking about what you were really talking about and that was time so many people are looking for more freedom of time and what's happening is people are are working all the time and they're not saving enough to to do kind of what you were talking about do the fun things with the family they're they're, they want they're just constantly working they want to have more choices and then we were kind of talking Mm -hmm. about that in that first segment so imagine if you had more than one income strategy to start to build some wealth, imagine if you were able to retire early. Just imagine that. And if you have those goals or objectives, it might take doing something a little bit differently. So don't wait. Learn these te- techniques and skills now so that way you can have those choices later on in life when you're 40, 50, 60, 70, hopefully not you know, 80, 90, but hopefully you're doing that before. So to see how the, these techniques actually function and work, we have these investing classes here locally. Just text the word investing for two seats to the number 210-210. Text the word investing to the number 210-210 for this investing class to see what some of these assets are that Al is talking about. Now, Al, you were mentioning something about people not maybe not knowing what to do, and I was just thinking about a conversation I was having with uh, with someone here recently. And we were talking about you know people do have some savings, which is great, but there, and you were mentioning how it's losing to inflation, just sitting in an account, mm-hmm. not in the market. Now think about this. Imagine if you had that savings and you put a little bit of that to work. Let's just say in his example, somebody has $20,000 in savings. 
And because they like to look at it, it makes them feel good that it's in their account. So why not Why not this? Learn a leveraged asset class like the futures market, the forex market, the options market. But don't take that whole 20000 that's Correct. in there. Maybe take 5000 of that. So you can still look at it, still look mm-hmm. at it, some of it in your savings account, but at least put some of that to work. Put some of that to work to have another income strategy or to start to save more, to build more wealth. So real quick here, in, in about a minute and a half, Al, explain how leverage works in the markets, which means we can use smaller amounts of capital like that. Stock market doesn't really allow that. You need a lot of money to do that. Explain how leverage works and how you've been helping people cross that bridge. So leverage is is something that most of you listening use. If you have a mortgage on a house, that's leverage. If you have a loan, a car loan, for example, or using credit cards, that's leverage. It, it's basically using other people's money. The brokerage firms are more than happy to let you do that. If you set up an account and you are you are going to be investing in what we call leveraged assets, options, futures, and forks are three great examples where a small amount of money can actually – uh, allow you to invest in something that's a it's a huge multiple of it. It might be fifty times. Each dollar might be able to control fifty dollars worth of something, or twenty dollars, or or maybe a hundred dollars. That's that's leverage. That's what these assets are designed to do. They really were initially developed for the big players to get you know more bang for their buck. But now, as retail traders, we can do the same thing. It's just that Wall Street's probably not giving you much information on them. That's, that's something they kind of want to keep for themselves. They really want you to to feel you have to use them. You need them because this is something you can't do. Futures, Forex, options, it's too complicated for you. It's not too complicated for you. It's just that you haven't been exposed to it. And that's that's what we do. We we teach you what these assets are, you know, how that leverage works and, and what kind of leverage you can you can get using the different assets Again, with maximum protection, that's the number one thing that we that we teach. But this allows a lot of people who might not feel comfortable having enough money to put into a stock position to be able to still benefit from the movement of the stock market or or other assets. A, a small account uh, in let's let's say an, an option trade, maybe maybe you know several hundred dollars will allow you to control something that's maybe worth twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. You you have that leverage to be able to participate in a market that might otherwise be out of your your league if you're just looking at the stock portfolio. Yep. You, with futures, you can trade the stock markets, but you can trade things like commodities and, and sugar, corn, soybeans, oil, gold, silver, all of those things that are available that maybe are going to be outperforming the the regular stock market. So there's always some there's always a good investment in something if you just know how to find it and take advantage of it. And finding yeah. it's the easy thing. It's taking advantage of it that requires the right education. It, it does. And I was actually, you were talking about people think it's too complicated. Well, it's, it's only complicated because you haven't been exposed to it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to actually do something this year. I do a lot of fantasy football. And I got mm-hmm. some buddies that I, I think are pretty smart about football. But here's what I'm going to tell them. I would say, you know what? You can't do this. You can't pick the right guys. <laughs> it's too complicated for you to do. So you know what? You shouldn't do it. And I'm going to have them give me their money so I can p- pick them for them, but I'm going to keep some of the profits. Hey, you're going to get paid for that, too, I'm aren't you? get paid for that, too. Uh, that's oh, smart. What, what does that sound like? It yeah. sounds like uh, one of the industries out there, right? So, But that's what the same thing. It's the same concept. If you, have, if you don't know what it is, that's why we have these investing classes. We have these investing classes here local. That way, it's a physical, hands-on place to go to learn what these concepts are. So it's not complicated. Break it down to, as you're a first grader. I mean, that's really, if people are looking for that, that's what we can do. And that's what we've been providing for over 26 years here uh, at the Academy. So if you want to come see one of these classes and be introduced to these markets, even if you've been trading for many, many years and looking for more consistency, text the word investing to the number 210, 210 right now for two seats for this class. Text the word investing to the number 210-210. When you do that, you're going to receive a text right back. It'll say, welcome to investing and trading live. There, will, It'll say, click here to, to, to pick your own date. Click the link, and you can pick the date that works best for you. As we, do, we do these during the week and on the weekend. So text the word investing to the number 210-210. Coming up next, we've been talking about ways to build wealth. Let's continue that discussion, but talk about how to continue to build it and protect it. Coming up next, we'll be right back. 